This is the Capsudaya of Fishpens, a vast 7.5 hectares surrounding the 5 hectare land area of the campus. Although it has engaged in various types of aquaculture products, it is known for its milkfish production throughout the years. Despite the threat it's facing because of the rapid growth of households, subdivisions and commercial centers around its vicinity, it manages to thrive from traditional to regenerative means of farming. The ponds follow a modular design. It has to 500 square meter nursery pond, a transition pond, a formation pond, an experimental pond and three rearing ponds for the growouts. For the first time in its milkfish culture history, the campus business affairs office of Capsudaya managed to initiate post-harvest value added marketing strategy to its milkfish product. On April 28, 2022, the first product label has been launched as part of the proposal to increase the value of its milkfish products. Processed by the Campus Fisheries Food Research and Development Center, the first batch of boneless milkfish was packaged and launched on May 29, 2022 under the brand name Pond Fresh. From then on, Harvest is made every week to sustain the demand of its stocks in the market. A sales strategy never done before in its history of milkfish production. Milkfish are caught by gillnet and carefully selected for debening. Vacuum packed to bring out the best quality milkfish in the market. Every single product undergoes the Capsu Diaf FRDC quality control scheme. Today, utility of the pond has been maximized. Integrating duck farming and ecotourism, adhering to CHED's edutourism program. Therefore, additional cabba will be constructed in these ponds, making learning a leisure. The integration of duck farming started last September 8th of 2021, with the incubation of 90 eggs through the initiative of the SPOW chairman and approval of the campus director. The eggs cost 14 pesos each, and ironically giving a poor outcome of 70% mortality. It was followed by another incubated batch last February of 2022. The duck species vary from Indian runner, cocky Campbell, and Itik Pinus, because they were all bought from a Balut distributor in Dow, Capis. To date, there are around 66 heads of ducks laying an average of 17 eggs a day. Selected eggs for incubation are carefully handpicked to sustain the continuance of the project. The dream is to hit 500 heads to establish a reliable business venture that will compete and probably even bigger than the milk fish culture of the campus. The presence of these ducks in the pond plays a vital role in the regeneration of algae through their droppings. While the ducks snack on small snails, which are a pest to the ponds and serve as bio as they swim in groups where oxygen is low early in the morning. The impact of this project's contribution to Capsu IGP is expected to be felt in the third quarter of 2023. Today, the ducks are able to sustain their own commercial feeds through their eggs. Another business venture which was attempted by the CBEO last July 23rd through its research is Seabass Culture, a venture which was personally sponsored and supervised by the campus director. 60 pieces were released in a fenced area to find out whether these species will thrive in the depths of the pond. In as far as the pond being promoted as a tourist destination, the Campus Business Affairs Office, with the support of the administration, is slowly initiating the construction of minute details using recycled and indigenous materials to beautify the ponds, 
This is made possible through the cooperation of the maintenance department of the campus, who has always been supportive in all the projects of the Mariculture Park and Wildlife Reserve. The Dyer Satellite College through its campus business affairs office aims to complete this project by the second quarter of 2023 and hopes to have it operational by the third quarter of the same year.